Morning guys, I'm clearing out my Airbnb room. We did it. My first ever official marathon and my only marathon medal so far. A lot of photography with a new small Insta360. Love this tiny coffee corner. Love this shower cubicle. Didn't get to watch any TV. My host Farrow is an amazing man. When I was panicking day before the marathon that I forgot my running shorts. He said, don't worry, this is all washed, you can use it. So this was my backup option. However, I rushed to a decathlon and got an alternative running gear. At least I was peaceful when I was going to decathlon to buy it. So I've decided every few months, maybe every three months, I will come back here. And just do some quiet time, some reflection, uh, take a long stroll. A lot of people were kind of taking a walk into this huge field and uh, there is a very nice pub called Smuggler's Rest. I had my dinner last night there. So I'm packing up everything then I'm going to go to the Smuggler's Rest, have my second and the last cup of coffee with some nice breakfast. But yeah, so this is Brighton. It's uh, Easter Brighton and the Marina Drive is just on that side. I think this is probably also part of Marina Drive. It goes all the way to the city center and the Brighton Pier. And there is bus service and stuff. And um, yeah, overall, uh, my first marathon experience was a really nice one. And um, I pushed my body to the limit. Uh, Sometimes stressing our system uh, will only expose all the weaknesses that you are not aware of. So I would rather uh, stress my system rather than reality stressing my system look right now i'm walking with a limp as you can see and i realize that uh, my knees are my achilles tendon the weakness uh, initially i thought it my left knee achilles my both knees and that's nothing to do with running nothing to do with osteoarthritis it is about the body imbalance because i think when i run i don't run symmetrically which is extremely important if you run for 5k 10k whether you're running symmetrically probably is not that important but when you're doing a half marathon or full marathon doing that asymmetry and stressing the body for over those many miles it will break and i realized that um, when you go up with a bad knee you keep your knee straight and hold on to something in case it's painful so that's fine, but the fine is not is, but what is not fine when you want to get done, this is extremely painful. So what I have to do, you have to, you have to twist around and you have to get down like this. Okay. So now you see, you're a doctor, you're realizing the problem your patients are facing who has got knee problem. They cannot get down the stairs. They can go backwards. So you might wonder what is that? And I'll explain in a later video so anyway let's pack up my final packing it's a mess a total mess my wife wouldn't be very happy if she comes so her life is organized everything is tipped up and this is me i can be extremely organized if i want to let me show you what that should look like see what i'm capable of achieving in a very quick time it's like almost magic but guess what I did? And this is what anybody who is creative like me will do. Put everything in piles. I used to lose a lot of stuff. Uh, and my aunt, my guru told me, give everything a home. So whenever you pick up something, think where are you going to look for it if you lose it. So you have to have some boxes. Like this is my laundry box this is my electronic box this is my running gear box this is my hospital stuff box obviously that doesn't mean that i will stop losing stuff and i will still suddenly become manic manic and tell everybody where is that where is that you know but question is is it getting better that's all i can do so i'm going to leave i'm going to send a text to pharaoh to say goodbye and thanks. I left uh, his thingy here. 
and he's such a nice man anyway so time for going out so final goodbye to Faro's Airbnb just documenting that I've left this as I found this place oh see forgot to switch it off although I'll give him a ring from the car so that he knows that I'm gone he probably now realized I love colors only because I wanted to run in a colorful shoe I couldn't practice I ran in this not ran actually did a hospital shift in that new shoe in which I ran a marathon yesterday which is unthinkable and this is my brand new Hoka which took a long time to come via Amazon and this is my old shoe with which I did a hundred kilometer leg districts and this is the shoe no no neither this is the shoe there's a fourth shoe in which I'm going to do a hundred kilometer so by this time you probably realize my brain is a bit different than your brain but in terms of clutter I'm a, I'm a king and I'm learning how to not have clutter in life and they say that if you want to see how organized a person is look into his loft or garage or car boot so I don't know whether he's I'm just going to slip this there's no dog in the house hope it will go to the other side I think it is stuck is it gone I think it is gone I'll just have a quick stroll because I'm very curious about that signage before I head off I'll just go and take a picture and come back are you curious as well it's called Telscom Thai see what a beautiful place to live I open field hopefully there will be no residents building up here open sea open sky and that's where it's my holiday home would be you can get meadow brown butterfly birds with tree foil, solitary bee, common blue, skylark, yellow rattle, ox eye daisy I didn't know the Thai meaning enclosure so probably I should bring my two dogs coffee and chini here now I'm going to the smugglers rest pub and have uh, my second and last coffee and some nice breakfast I'm limping guys I'm limping seriously but it was worth it my first marathon medal put it back here you go work which I also love oh dear it's not looking nice the food that sustained me yesterday that needs to go I must not throw away the spoon ah, found the perfect spot so all the stuff that I just threw away now that's a good one so this too the most common food yesterday in the marathon was mango sorry mango what did he say banana maybe I like mango more than banana and manuka honey and crispy creamy my weakness so now I'm going to run 10 marathons all over the world that being the first and every marathon I uh, will do for one of medical society so far liver British liver trust and now pancreatic cancer and next month it will be mind the mental health and my gut definitely needs a thorough cleaning Hoover and that should happen today by hook or by crook I've got an endoscopy list in the afternoon I'm glad I cancelled my morning list I just realized the smugglers rest might not be even open there is no car other than one let's see at least I got to show you the smugglers rest so a lot of smuggling used to happen here oh another good thing I spotted a petrol pump because I'm on reserve well so yesterday I had a lovely dinner let's take a stroll to see if I can have a coffee so this is a quite famous locally famous at least pub do you know when you've got a lot to talk and nobody wants to listen to you because you talk too much I think this is a good way to talk you know just switch on a camera talk 
pretend somebody will be listening. Pretend. Maybe somebody will. Who knows? Apparently, muddy paws are welcome. I think they are closed. Yes, they are. Anyway, I tried. See you guys. It's 8th of April, 2024. Ah, ah. I forgot. I shouldn't be. I should be reverse climb down. Okay. Bye. Remember, every day is an opportunity, but we will make mistakes. Every day we will make mistakes and every day we will try to correct the mistakes. But the most important thing is be kind, connect with other people because this connection might help somebody who is struggling but didn't tell anybody that he's struggling because he thought it may be a sign of weakness to tell that I'm struggling, help me. Help others. One day, somebody will help you. Take care.